children and my dear friends in this video we are going to discuss chapter 2 of class 6 single correct answer type questions so question number 1 an equal angular triangle the number of angles which are equal are an equiangular triangle the number of angles which are equal are so equiangular triangle so if you take a triangle so three angles equal then we can call equiangular triangle so we know that so sum of angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degree so 1 2 and 3 so these three angles are equal so that means 180 sum of angles by three angles so three ones are three six are and zero so each angle is equal to 60 degrees so like that how many angles will be there so there will be three angles then coming to second question if a bisector of a triangle of a right angle triangle is drawn then the bisected angles are each equal to bisected angles are each equal to so right angle triangle so this is right angle triangle so this is a 90 degrees angle so bisector of this angle so that means the bisector divides so this angle into two equal parts so that means this 90 degrees into two equal parts so 245 so 45 degree so each angle is equal to 45 degrees then let us go for the next question now we will go for question number three two sides of an isoscalar triangle are 5 centimeter 6 centimeter then the length of third side two sides of an isoscalar triangle are 5 centimeter and 6 centimeter then the length of third side is so let us see through the diagram isoscalar triangle means any two sides any two sides must be equal either this two or this two suppose if i thought this is 5 centimeter so this is 6 centimeter so this third side may be 5 or may be 6 so then the third side 5 centimeter or otherwise 6 centimeter so then coming to fourth question the triangle formed by bc is equal to 5 centimeter ac is equal to 3 centimeter ab is equal to 5.8 centimeter then option one right angle triangle isoscalar triangle and equilateral and scale so if you observe here it is three different sides so three different sides so one is 5 centimeter one is 5.8 and another one is 3 centimeter so if you observe so three different sides then we can call it as a scale and triangle okay so sometimes we should check so squares the greatest square must be equal to sum of the next two here 3 square 9 and 5 square 25 so 9 plus 25 34 
so approximately so this is uh, what 5.8 so 5.8 if you find the square value 58 into 58 8 8s are 64 so 8 5s are 40 so 46 5 8s are 40 4 5s are 25 so 29 so 4 6 3 1 so this is 33.64 so this is 5 square 25 plus 3 square 9 so this is equal to 34 so this is not equal to sum of two sets so this is only a squalent triangle suppose in case if both are equal so we can say it as a right angle triangle hypotenuse is equal to sum of other two sides then we will go for the next question coming to question number 5 if ab is equal to 4 cm bc is equal to 3 cm ca is equal to 5 cm then triangle abc is so isosceles option 2 equilateral 3 acute angle 4 right angle so triangle abc a b c so ab is equal to 4 cm bc is 3 cm and ca is 5 cm so actually here three different sides so that should be scalen so there is no option scalen triangle so then we should check pythagoras theorem so hypotenuse square hypotenuse square that means ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square so 5 square is equal to 4 square plus 3 square so 4 square 16 plus 3 square 9 that is equal to 25 so here 5 square also 25 so then we can call it as right angle triangle so coming to next question the point of intersection of two consecutive sides of a polygon so the point of intersection of two consecutive sides of a polygon so here it is polygon means a closed figure minimum having three sides three or more than three sides so it may be quadrilateral it may be pentagon it may be hexagon so two the point of intersection of two consecutive sides so suppose if you take a triangle so these two are consecutive sides so its intersection point so this is suppose this is one side and this is another side its intersection point and this two are two sides its intersection point so simply we can call it as vertex so option 1 is the correct answer then let us go for the next question now let us go for question number 7 in a right angle triangle abc if angle b is at 90 degrees then which of the following is true <coughs> so they have given one right angle triangle so the right angle is at b so this is 90 degree so if remaining two sides a and c otherwise c and a so clearly we can observe this is hypotenuse so ac square hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus height square that means ab square plus bc square so option 1 ab square is equal to bc square plus ac square then option 2 ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square 
so option 2 is the correct answer then coming to problem number 8 the triangle abc formed by ab is equal to 5 cm bc is equal to 8 cm and ac is equal to 4 cm so a rough diagram if i draw here so a c and b so ac is equal to 4 cm bc is 8 cm ab is 5 cm then coming to options and isoscalus only <clears throat> here there is no two sides equal so this is eliminated then scale three different sides so but uh, the greatest side 8 square that should be equal to 5 square plus 4 square so 8 square is 64 5 square is 25 plus 4 square is 16 so 25 plus 16 so that is 41 not equal to 64 41 is not equal to 64 then so this is a not a right angle okay so this is a only scale and triangle option 2 scale and as well as right angle okay if this 8 square is equal to sum of other two sides then it will become scale and as well as right angle here 64 is not equal to 41 then three different sides are there then we can call it as only scale and triangle then we will go for remaining problems so coming to problem number nine if two sides of an isoscalus triangle are two centimeter and seven centimeter then the length of third side is so already previously one problem we discussed two sides of isoscalus so any two sides must be equal so if it is 2 and this is 7 the third side should be either 2 or 7 centimeter so option 3 is the correct answer which of the following sets of measures can form a triangle so here in each case they given three angles some of these three angles should be equal to 180 degrees then these measures can form triangle so first case 70 plus 90 160 plus 25 185 degrees so this is a not form so 65 plus 85 150 plus 40 190 so this is also cannot form and 70 plus 90 160 plus 30 190 degrees this is also cannot form so 45 plus 55 100 100 plus 8 180 degree so sum of the three angles is equal to 180 degrees then these measures can form a triangle then coming to next question the maximum number of obtuse angles of a triangle can have so obtuse angle that means so more than 90 degrees so one angle should be more than 90 suppose let me take 100 degrees so remaining two angles sum of two angles should be 80 remaining sum of two angles so here only one obtuse angle can <coughs> can form in a triangle so this is a single correct answer type of session in the next video we are going to discuss multi correct and comprehensive type questions as well as matrix match type questions so until keep watch all my previous videos of chapter 2 triangles